women are the ones leading the world. Women for a long time have been leading, except people did not recognize it. I always look back at my own mother, who was not even educated, and yet she was the one who stood very firm about the idea that all her children must be educated. In a society where men were valuing boys, when my mother stood very firm and said, all my children will go to school. If you cannot pay my children, my mother said, I will brew beer. I will walk even naked and sell all my clothes in order for my children, for my girls to study. In our case, when a woman dies and leaves two children, the children are called orphans because the father is not going to care for these children. I learned first to become a religious. I went to religious training in a convent. And later on, I went to midwifery school until I was sent to Gulu in Santa Monica, a school which was just not functioning because of the war in northern Uganda. And that's where I started helping young women and children. And also, I started protecting them. We had so many children who used to run away from the rebels every night. They were called night commuters and we were hiding some of these children. These rebels would come to villages and abduct children, abduct women, take them to captivity, train them to become soldiers, child soldiers. And then the girls were taken and used as sex slaves. And coming back home, the society found it so difficult to accept these children because everybody knew that these children were trained killers. I was accepting these young women together with their children. And in the condition they were, even I accepted those who are pregnant. And of course, that was totally a different situation in any education system in Uganda. I don't know if it is in other places. To accept a woman coming to school with her child. That's what we do in our school. We have mother and child. We have children studying in one corner. We have their mother studying in one corner. And that's what I would like to continue promoting. Education will give them a voice. They will speak for themselves. They will tell exactly what happened to themselves to the world. They will sit where I'm sitting and speak for themselves. I'm not very good in agriculture myself, but I encourage them to cook. For instance, I said we have to cook, and just not only cooking, but we cook and sell the foods to people. And so in that way, I started a catering school. This is to teach them that they can do the same at home, whenever they settle anywhere. They can start their own small business of cooking because I always tell people, eating industry will never die. Everybody wants to eat. When I want to define hope, what is hope? Hope is exactly what I am living now. And I always tell the girls, the past has already gone. Don't look back. Your life can start from here and you move on. And you move in hope. Look forward. If you think of the past, look at it just as something which happened to you, but it has not stopped your life from going ahead.